All right, so in this video, I'm gonna really quickly show you how you set up your existing switch that came off your milling machine to uh, adjust the forward and reverse on a variable frequency drive. This is a Tico Westinghouse L510 one horse. And if you're wondering why it's skinnier than the ones you may have seen on YouTube, it is the 240 volt version input. So you input 240 volt single phase, output 240 volt three phase. So this is real simple. And I, I've seen some people basically just throw away, let's set this aside for now. I've basically seen people just do away with their original switch. And I hate to see that these old switches are they're really nice and robust. Check out the, the spring mechanism. What's happening? I'm going the wrong way. Real nice copper pads, spring loaded, real positive. So I want to show you how to do this and it couldn't be simpler. The only thing you need you could do this with a 12 volt power supply and a light bulb if you wanted to, but I'm going to show you how to do it with an ohms meter. Set it for continuity, and this is just a real cheap, obviously for this video I couldn't find my nice Fluke 77. That's kind of how it goes, right? Hopefully you can hear that. So right now we have the switch set to off, and we have to find a common, because you're going to need three wires. You're going to need, for your VFD, you'll need common, switch one, switch two. And I'm not going to get into necessarily the setting the parameters of the Tico Westinghouse because your VFD may be different. We have to go through the process of finding a common. So what we do, set your switch to forward. And it's just a process of probing around. Okay, I got a, I got a beep there. I got a beep there. Beep there, but I know that's in line, so that's obviously not going to work for what we're trying to do. What you want to try to do, you want to try to get a beep that is not in line. And your, your switch may be different. So check this out. There's a beep. Switch forward, okay? So now go back to off and make sure it's still not beeping. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's the first part of the equation. We know that, that those two wires can be used for forward. Switching it to reverse. Let's go back to those same two. If it beeps, we're in trouble. It doesn't. Okay, so we know that we can still use these two for forward. And these two can be used for off. Now we're in reverse and we probe around. And since we know that we want to try to use this one, you just probe around on here, probably on the bottom rack. And that's a beep. So if you remember, these two beeped forward. These two did not beep on off. This is beeping on reverse. Let's make sure it does not beep on off. And it does not. These three will be the ones we use for our switch. Common, indicated by my red lead, forward, and reverse. So looking at the VFD again, you will take the common, which will be where I indicated with the red lead. It'll go here. And in my VFD, S1 is forward. That's the wire that will attach on the top right-hand corner. This is reverse, S2 is reverse, bottom right hand corner. And in the parameters you will set for external use, external power on, uh, forward and reverse, and that is how it's done. Thanks. Okay, so there is something I should point out. I think this common is gonna supply about 12 volt, but really low amperage, low, low amperage, and these uh, inputs are small. So the wire gauge of the wire that you use from this, you're not gonna be using any big wire like 12 gauge or anything like that. Probably 23 or 22 would be fine. And that's what I'll use. I'm going to try to find some shielded phone cord. And I'll just probably use most of these. I'm also going to have an external potentiometer. You can't power anything with this 10 volts. All it's for is to send a signal through the, you know, the contacts of the uh, wiper and the potentiometer. Like, for instance, if you're using uh, analog uh, voltage input and analog ground, well, that would be your potentiometer. It's just supplied by 10 volts. That's just how it sees everything. So I don't think you can power anything by this top. And your VFD may be different, like I said, but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one horse. So I'm probably just going to put, uh, I think, 11 amps. What this will draw at full uh, full output. So I'm just going to supply 240 volt with a 12.3 and braided. And then I'm, I'm just going to use 12.3 to go with the motor, too. I know that would be okay. I'll probably get about a 16 gauge, actually, or 14, but I'm going to use 12 gauge. But that'll be a different video. This was just, uh, that kind of got out of the side of the scope, but... Uh, Hope this helps. And also, uh, one thing to too, like as we finished up, and I was showing you here, and then top right and the bottom, I can see a wire going from here to here and here to here. So I know that there is not a wire going from here to here. So, but that's a good check. 
check these two. You know, it's not gonna be, there's no way for it to in any switch position. So just go through, just make go through all your checks and balances and make sure that you know uh, which is which. It's pretty simple.